It is Tuesday, January 29th, and we welcome you to a packed gymnasium of Midland High Boys Varsity Basketball on MPS TV, Channel 98, as the Dow High Chargers make the trip across town to take on the Midland High Chemex. It's a great day for basketball action. The Chemex and the Chargers, their first matchup of the 2012-2013 season. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper, and Tom, tonight we've got a match up in a uh, two different styles of basketball. We've got the Dow High Chargers under first-year coach Marshall Gray, a very defense-oriented team. We've got the Midland High Chemics under veteran coach Eric Krause, a team that loves to play from the perimeter. Two styles, two different styles of basketball. One is going to be better than the other at the end of the night. And both styles really excite their coaches. Uh, with Marshall Gray, he loves the way his team plays defense. He's hoping to see the offense kind of mature as their players get more experience. And uh, Eric Krause uh, just loves to see his team shoot from the perimeter. He says they're a lethal team from there, and that's one of the main reasons that they're 9-3 and three and at the towards the top of their division uh, in the Saginaw Valley. Yeah, the Midland High Kimmicks off to a terrific start in the Saginaw Valley, as we mentioned. They are 9-3. and three. They are led by uh, Alec Johnson, Tyler DeYoung, Will Williams. They are a very balanced group of, of uh, players. And they're... They're all averaging between 10 and 14 points a game. On the other side, Dow High struggles a bit on the offensive side, and they are looking for a night to break out. What better night but the Dow Midland game? Absolutely. The Dow High Chargers 4 and 8, and uh, Marshall Gray, the head coach of the Dow High Chargers, in his very first season, maybe going through a little bit of growing pain. But as we mentioned, he's a coach that concentrates on defense, but offensively, he is led by Malik Garner coming into this game almost 12 points per game. And Marshall has said he has really matured. He's, he's a leader, uh, just a very, very, he's always had the skills. Just now he gets a chance to have his hands on the steering wheel and help the, this Dow team to victory. As is customary, you can throw records out the window when the Chemics and the Chargers do battle. Right now, let's turn things over to public address announcer Jeff Yoder. This time for our first
set to go for a varsity basketball here on MPS TV Channel 98. A great crew of MCTV volunteers on hand to uh, bring you this contest between the Midland High Chemics 9 and 3 on the season and the Dow High Chargers at 4 and 8. If you would like to become involved with MCTV, there's the phone number 837-3474. That is the number to call to find out how you can become an MCTV volunteer. The next orientation is coming up just around the corner on Saturday, February 9th. And again, call 837-3474 for information on how to become an MCTV volunteer. And now we are getting ourselves ready. And uh, you know who I think has the most butterflies is um, is Marshall Gray. He's the first one to play. He's the first one who's uh, had to sit on the bench and watch through the whole game. The first year coach, Marshall Gray, replacing a uh, coaching legend in Dave McDonald. And they'll, you know, take a, a little bit of time. Marshall Gray, very upbeat, very positive. And, Right now he watches Will Williams of Midland High score the first basket of the contest. Marshall Gray is very upbeat. He knows what he has. He is working with the players very well, and uh, he's a very enjoyable individual to talk to. I had a chance to talk to him for a better part of an hour the other afternoon, and uh, very personable. Dow High's Malik Garner working the basketball, just a junior. In fact, there's only five seniors on this Dow High team. Gavin Krocek, three-point shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by Nathan Blinky, the senior for Midland High. The Kimmicks have got a very strong unit as a team. These are individuals that have played basketball together for quite some time. This is a team in every sense of the word. And a steal. It's going to be a steal off of the official. Gavin Grocheck looking to go the distance, and he will draw the foul. That was interesting. The official raised his foot and stopped it from going out of bounds. I don't think it was intentional. But I don't <laughs> think it was. You know, it happened way too fast. But... And the official is part of the uh, part of the field of play, so it was all legal, and it ended up in a foul. So Gavin Grocheck will go to the free throw line for the Chargers. We may need to see if that official has any soccer background in him. Grocheck missing his first free throw. Second one is good, so the Chargers are on the board. Just underway, and boys. Basketball here on MPS TV in a couple of weeks. We do it all again. Right now, Midland High breaking away, looking to go to the hoop and count it. Nathan Blinky, the senior, getting the bucket done. A strong drive by Blinky. Gardner feeding it over to Cassidy, and Cassidy ends up traveling. The starters on the floor, the Midland High Chemics, Alec Johnson, Nathan Blinky, Will Williams, Gabe Blaylock, and Tyler DeYoung. The Dow High Chargers countering with Gavin Grocheck, Malik Garner, Adam Fitzgibbon, Robert Rogowski, and Andrew Cassidy as their starting five. Alec Johnson, three-pointer and count it. Johnson, the leading scorer on a Midland High team that really doesn't have one star or one superstar at all. But Johnson hitting that three-pointer. It's a big six-point lead early. Underneath, knocked away. Tyler DeYoung coming up with the block for the Midland High Chemics. Blinky thought about the three, now works it back out. DeYoung fires the shot. No good, rebound by Grocheck. Chargers will come back the other direction. Gavin Grocheck slowing things down a little bit, now feeds it over to Garner, and Malik Garner with the baseline shot for the Chargers. It is a four-point game. We have played a little over two minutes, and the Kimmicks throw the ball away. You know, the Chemex uh, really have a nice setup to break the press, but if you rush the pass and throw it 15 feet over the guy's head, it makes it really tough to advance the ball. At the front row of the Charger <laughs> fan section and student section, the only individuals that were going to catch that one. Oh, uh, that's all part of nerves early in the game. Dow High's Adam Fitzgibbon working the basketball. He's just a junior. Now over to Malik Gardner. Gardner taking a couple of dribbles, trying to get by Blaylock. Gardner going to the basket. A good read by Malik Gardner. Found the open lane, and the Dow deficit is just two. Williams 
Switching hands. Williams has the ball knocked away. Grochek with nice defense. Now Malik Gardner will tie the game up. Gardner feeding in the layup, and just like that, it is 7-all with just under five minutes to play here in the first quarter. Nathan Blinky working the ball over to Gabe Blaylock. Now to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung thought about going baseline, now gives it to Blaylock. Blaylock in the paint, no place to go. DeYoung fires a long two-pointer, count it. Tyler DeYoung's foot was on the line, just a two-pointer, but the Kimmicks back with the lead. Fast pace here to begin the first quarter. Adam Fitzgibbon working the ball for the Chargers. Now gives it to Rogowski. Rogowski feeds it to the corner, but now Dow High will work it back up. Malik Gardner taking a couple of dribbles into the paint. Gardner showing off his skills, but cannot get the bucket to go. Rogowski, Cassidy had the rebound, and a reach-in foul is going to be called. So far, I've been very impressed with Garner. Um, uh, good body control as he glides through uh, the, the Chemex. The foul is going to be called on Alec Johnson, which is his first. The second one on Midland. A long inbound pass. Alec Johnson with the steal, the bucket, and the foul. Alec Johnson more than making up for the foul, and he's got a chance for a three-point play. And that was real good, good hustle by Johnson. He saw that the pass was high, a tip ahead, and uh, for Garner, uh, just couldn't catch up. So Alec Johnson on the free throw line for Midland High. Johnson cannot get the shot to go, and the ball will be rebounded by Rogowski. Gardner now working into the paint. Grochuk can't get the shot to go. Johnson with the rebound for Midland. Johnson feeding to DeYoung. DeYoung putting the brakes on, looking for some place to go. How about a three-pointer for Nathan Blinky? The shot is no good. Put back by DeYoung is no good. Second put back is no good. Rogowski will pull down another rebound. I'm not sure if Kraus was real happy about uh, DeYoung's second shot. He uh, really didn't have a lot of control on that one. Malik Gardner with the ball for the Chargers. Bounce pass inside and a pushing foul is going to be called against Blaylock. A lot of contact, which is customary in Saginaw Valley basketball, Tom. It's what it is, you know, that uh, in this game, uh, you got to expect a lot of contact, but uh, it's not a lot of collision, just a lot of contact. 11 to 7, Midland High with the lead. Just over three minutes to play here in the opening quarter. Adam Fitzgibbon, three pointer, no good. Rebound, last touch by Midland, so the Chargers will keep possession. As we mentioned, Fitzgibbon just a junior. In fact, there's a lot of juniors on this Dow High team. Dow looking to inbound the ball, and they do so. Nice pass to Rogowski, and we're going to have an okay. offensive foul call. Robert Rogowski making some contact. Marshall Gray trying to plead his case with the official that, uh, that he had position, but the official explaining otherwise, and that's only the second foul, the first one against Rogowski. Great job by our MPS and MCTV crew moments ago. Going inside. No place to go at all for Austin Ear, who just checked into the game for Midland. Now to Blanky. Blanky takes a couple of dribbles to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung dribbles, now switches directions. Alec Johnson with the ball to Austin Ear. Ear is usually the sixth person off uh, on the floor for the Midland High Kimmicks. He's got a lot of size, but the Kimmicks turning the ball over. Gavin Grochek almost had his pocket picked by Williams. Grochek trying to drive in. Now he picks it up. Malik Garner, baseline, count it. Another great read, Malik Gardner, who comes from a basketball family. He's got eight points, and Gardner does a terrific job of reading the defenses and reading the positioning on that court. Got a real nice touch on the runner. Nice defense there. Rogowski knocking the ball away. The Chargers will come back the other direction. 
Two-point game under two minutes to play. Garner can't get the shot to go. Tyler DeYoung will bring it down for Midland. Wide open with Austin Ear, and DeYoung threw it away. Nobody around, and they on force turnover for the Midland High Kimmicks. The thought was there, the accuracy was not. And uh, right now, uh, what we're looking at, uh, Midland High seems to be running an offense that uh, sets up perimeter shots. Peyton DeWilt checking into the game for the Midland High Kimmicks. John Bork, a junior, checked into the game for the Dow High Chargers. Bork taking a shot from the baseline, no good. Alec Johnson with the rebound for Midland. Both teams going cold shooting. Alec Johnson from the free throw line will change that. Johnson getting the bucket to fall through. He's got six points on the game. Midland with a 13 to nine lead. A minute to play here in the first quarter. Inside, wide open, count the bucket. Andrew Cassidy with his first basket of the game. A great pass and a great finish by Cassidy. We're back to a two point game. And we've got a whistle and a foul, and it's going to go against the Kimmicks. Away from the ball, Austin Ear, another junior, is going to be called for the foul. Jake Dostel checks into the game. Tom Eric Kraus going to his bench early in this contest. And into the game comes uh, Peyton DeWilt, a freshman guard. I know that uh, Coach Kraus is real high on him. Working the ball around Malik Gardner with a couple of dribbles. Gardner now feeds it over to, to Matt Deshaun. Deshaun's a new player into the game. He's a senior on the Dow High team. Three-pointer from the right-hand side is no good. Rebound nicely done by Bork. Count the basket. John Bork coming in. Nice size by Bork. Able to block out his opponent. We are tied up at 13. Final seconds of the first quarter. Blanky passing over to Dosto. Dosto feeds inside to Ear, who can't get the shot to go. Put back is no good. And the first quarter comes to an end. Fast paced, exciting, and all knotted up. At the <laughs> end of one, it is Dow 13, Midland High 13 here at our boys varsity basketball contest. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, a great crew on hand. If you're just tuning in and you want to check out this game in its entirety, you can tune in on Thursday, January 31st through Tuesday, February 5th. Showtimes are 12 noon and 10 p.m. Thursday through Tuesday. Your chance to check out all of the playbacks. There you see it on your screen. Noon and 10 p.m. are the times. For more information, more details, check out the Midland Public Schools website. This game will also be streaming online on the MPS website in the near future. And also this weekend, check out the girls game, Midland High, Dow High. They've got a girls varsity basketball matchup as well. That game will air this weekend. And you can get involved with MCTV by calling that number on your screen, 837 3474. You can also watch MCTV programming online as well as on cable. A great chance if maybe you uh, do not have cable, but you still want to check out the great programming produced by the MCTV crew, you can do so online. 13 all as we start the second quarter between the Chargers and the Kimmicks. Working on the baseline. Bork can't get the shot to go. Dow High maintaining possession. Rebound pulled down by Deshaun. Now Gardner drives in. A charging foul called. Malik Gardner called with the charge. Marshall Gray doesn't like it. The one thing that you can say about Gray, he's firing. <laughs> he has got a lot of personality, and he shows his emotion on his sleeve. And one thing about Gardner, boy, is he quick. Malik Gardner, you mentioned in our pregame, as Midland High will be called for a 10-second violation. You mentioned in our pregame that Malik Gardner has improved between last year and this year. That may be the understatement of our contest. Malik Gardner has developed into a pretty nice-looking basketball player. Yes, and uh, he, he's, this is his third year on varsity. He played as a freshman, and uh, he really is smooth. Malik Gardner, three-pointer, 
count it. Like he knew we were talking about him. Garner bringing the three-pointer in. Dow High leading now by three early here in the second quarter. Gabe Blaylock trying to show his distance but can't get the shot to go. John Bork pulls down the rebound. Bork has been playing very well since coming off the bench for the Chargers. Gardner looking to set up the play for Dow High. Gardner feeding over to Gavin Grocheck. Grocheck feeds it to Matt Deshaun. Deshaun with a bounce pass to Bork. Bork a little bit too hard off the glass. Ball goes out of bounds. And the possession will remain with Dow. And the Chargers will bring Andrew Cassidy back into the game. And also Robert Rogowski will re-enter the game. The Kimmicks bring Nathan Blinky and Tyler DeYoung back into the contest. Okay, you know, and this is the time to start giving your starters a little breather. Uh, you got a big crowd, a lot of nerves, and just give them a breath of fresh air before uh, they get back into battle. Dow leading by three. Malik Garner, a couple of dribbles. Now they force it inside. Nice double pass by the Chargers, and Andrew Cassidy finishes it up. Cassidy's got a couple of baskets in this contest. It's a lead for the Dow High Chargers. Five-point advantage. Will Williams back in the game. Feeds it to Alec Johnson. Johnson from the free throw line. No good. Rebound Cassidy. Momentum beginning to shift in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Couple of moves by Deshaun trying to get free. Now Malik Gardner working the ball. He goes inside, knocked away by Blinky, but the Chargers able to recover. On the far side, Matt Deshaun with the ball. Back to Malik Gardner. Gardner from the top of the key, count it. Malik Gardner with his second three-pointer, and Eric Kraus wants a timeout. Biggest lead of the game. For the Dow High Chargers, Malik Gardner on fire here in the first half. Dow High leading 21 to 13. You know, in talking to uh, Marshall Gray, Dow's just coming off one of their flattest games of the season. They played Bay City Western just a couple nights ago. Gave them their first win of the season. And at this point, he must have had some real fiery practices because his team is really uh, on spot right now. And with uh, Midland High, they had a really good game the other night against Mount Pleasant. And uh, they started off real good, but they've, uh, they've struggled now to trying to find an open shot anywhere close to the basket. Now the Midland High gimmicks uh, coming off a win in a very physical game against Mount Pleasant. This is a Midland High Kimmick team that earlier in the season went to triple overtime with Saginaw, one of the state powerhouses in boys basketball, a triple overtime loss, but that was a game that may, be, may have been the turning point in the season for the Midland High Kimmick. You know, sometimes you have to have that signature game that uh, just tells you you've got something special. 21 to 13 is where we stand score-wise after the timeout. 5.30 to play here in the second quarter. Will Williams driving in. Nice job defensively. Andrew Cassidy with a great block underneath. Malik Gardner now working the ball for the Chargers. Gardner trying to get Midland High's defense to move up a little bit to open underneath. Now Gardner fires a three. What a game Malik Gardner is having. If you won't come to me, I'll fire that three-pointer. Gardner looking good. Now Tyler DeYoung, look at, or Nathan Blinky, excuse me, looking to answer the call. Blinky goes into the paint for the Midland High Kimmicks. Well, and uh, uh, Eric Krause has a guy 6-3 on, on uh, Gardner and 6-4 on Gardner. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. When you're feeling it, when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Will Williams working the ball now for the Midland High Chemics. Alec Johnson from the top of the key. His three-pointer is no good. Malik Gardner will get the rebound. Gardner trying to drive in. We're going to have a foul called. Will Williams will be called for the foul. Williams trying to 
Cletus Case that Garner was leading with the elbow, which he may have been doing, but the official did not want to hear anything from Williams. Yeah, either leading with the elbow or trying to turn a corner, just trying to get his hand around on Williams' side. But uh, you're right. The official uh, wasn't going to have anything to do with that. Marshall Gray calling a 30-second timeout, saw something that he wanted to fix immediately, so he uses his first timeout with 4.15 to play here in the second quarter. 24 to 15 is our score. A great MCTV crew on hand, and uh, while we have a chance to thank a few people, we want to thank the Midland High Athletic Director, uh, Eric Albright, opening up the uh, building this afternoon so that we could get set up for our contest. And also, we uh, need to uh, thank Jimmy Johns for uh, donating our dinner tonight, Tom. Well, I wasn't told there was going to be food, so I ate beforehand, and I, I had to go through the excruciating if, pain if, of watching you guys eat Jimmy John's. If you would check your email on a regular basis, you would have known that we had <laughs> dinner coming. <laughs> Dow High looking to inbound the ball after the time, oh, and they do right into the arms of Alec Johnson. Johnson working the ball, now over to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung feeds it inside to Ear. A lot of contact, no foul, and Austin Ear will get the bucket to fall through. Well, we mentioned Saginaw Valley is physical, and there was uh, what could have been a charge, but wasn't, and Ear able to clear things. They'll get the bucket. On the other side, Cassidy looking to rebound, can't do it. Ear able to come up with the board. Now Midland High, numbers advantage. Tyler DeYoung, three-pointer, no good. Rebound by the Kimmets. They work it back out. Tyler DeYoung now at the top of the key. Thought about another three. Drives in. Had the ball knocked away by Matt Deshaun. Midland High able to recover. Very physical here in the second quarter. Shot taken by Peyton DeWilt does not go, but a rebound by DeYoung. DeWilt is just a freshman for the Midland High Kimmets. Alec Johnson driving in. Matt Deshaun will pick up the foul. You know, I was about to say that Dow has been really able to contain Midland on their offense uh, just by quickness. And at that time, Deshaun was a little bit flat-footed. Just over three minutes to play. 24 to 17 is where we stand score-wise. Dow High Chargers leading against the Midland High Kimmicks. Peyton DeWilt driving in. DeWilt, the freshman, proving that if you give him a lane, he will take it. DeWilt with the bucket. Five-point contest. Malik Gardner now with the ball for the Dow High Chargers. Gardner, the leading scorer in the contest, being double teamed. He feeds it over to Rogalski. Rogalski over to Fitzgibbon. Now back to Gardner. Chargers will look to set up the play. Gardner again being double teamed. Gavin Grocheck working the ball. Now back to Malik Gardner. Gardner takes a couple of steps in, finds an open lane, and a foul will be called. The basketball sense that Malik Gardner has, and you know, granted his, uh, his dad a former basketball coach, and he's been around basketball his entire life, but the way that he reads and knows when to step back and fire a three, when to drive into the lane, very impressive. And how do you coach a player to have that kind of quickness? That's God given. That amazing quickness to, to go down the lane. Gardner hitting the first free throw. And he nails the second one as well. Both free throws good for Gardner. Dow leading with 2.20 to play here in the second quarter. Midland High, numbers advantage. Nathan Blanke can't get the shot to go. Cassidy playing great defense for the Dow High Chargers. Uh, Blanke rushed that, that point. Cassidy working the ball, now over to Deshaun. Deshaun ended up losing the ball, but last touched by Midland, so the Chargers will retain possession. Dow High wants to bring uh, somebody into the game. Malik Gardner needs a break. Gardner went over and told Coach Gray, I need to get a drink of water here. I'll, come, I'll be back in a second, but I need a break. So Gardner is now on the bench, and Gavin Grocheck will take over the guard duties for the Dow High Chargers. 
Matt Deshaun working the ball right now. Feeds it over to Fitzgibbon. Fitzgibbon, the top of the key to Rogowski. Rogowski to Deshaun, back out to Grochek. Grochek fires from just inside the three-point line, and a friendly foul for Gavin Grochek. Count the basket. Biggest lead of the game for the Dow High Chargers. 90 seconds to play in the quarter. Tyler DeYoung has the ball stripped away. Adam Fitzgibbon with great defense for the officials going to say last touched by the Chargers. Midland High inbounding. Nathan Blinky, that shot no good. Blinky able to get the rebound. Tyler DeYoung feeds it into Peyton DeWilt and a foul will be called. DeWilt could not get the friendly roll, but the freshman will go to the free throw line. That was a great reaction. DeWilt saw that the lane was open. He just uh, hustled down the line and uh, uh, DeYoung found him. It was just a, a nice instantaneous piece of offense. Peyton DeWilt unable to get the first free throw to fall. Dow High is going to bring John Bork back into the game. Bork gave the Chargers a few good minutes of play early in the second quarter. Now he's back in there. Second shot coming up, and that one is also short for DeWill. Dow High with the ball and the lead. Gavin Grochek taking a couple of dribbles. Feeds it over to Matt Deshaun. Deshaun looking to get the screen. Deshaun going all the way and then feeds it out for Grochek. Open for a three. Great ball movement by the Dow High Chargers and Kevin Grochek hitting his first three of the game. It's the biggest lead, a 12 point advantage. Midland High trying to work the ball in, but unsuccessful was here underneath. Had a real good opportunity, just uh, if he could have gotten it up on the glass, he would have had a little better opportunity there to put it in. 30 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Fitzgibbon dribbling the ball around to Grochek. Grochek being guarded very closely by DeWilt. Grochek now working the ball over back to Deshaun. Deshaun drives in, tried to break apart two Kimmicks, now going back out to Grochek. 10 seconds to play in the quarter. Dow on the give to go. Grochek, no place to go. Feeds it in with five seconds. Rogowski can't get the shot to go. Rebound, Tyler DeYoung firing up a last ditch effort and the shot is no good. And we go into halftime with the Dow High Chargers maintaining a 12 point lead over the Midland High Kimmicks. And Midland just went flat. They just couldn't find their offense. They got a few shots inside, but uh, Garner really uh, changed the complexion of this game. His drive to the basket, uh, getting fouled or putting it up on the glass and then a bunch, uh, he had a cluster of threes. Uh, Dow played very well in that second quarter. And the Dow High Chargers taking over in the second quarter and the Chargers end up building the biggest lead of the contest here at halftime. Boys varsity basketball on MPS TV. We'll take a break and be back for the third quarter in the continuation of this contest. At the half, it is Dow High 31, Midland High 19. And we welcome you back to Midland High Boys Varsity Basketball on MCTV alongside Tom Bell. I'm Jason Harper and Tom at halftime. The Dow High Chargers leading Midland High 31 to 19. A great first half of the Dow High Chargers led by Malik Gardner, who was unstoppable. <laughs> he really was. Uh, 19 points out of the 21 that Dow scored in that first half. Very smooth, very quick. And Midland High defensively just had no answer for it. And the Midland High gimmicks, uh, Eric Krause looking to uh, come up with some answers. I'm sure they spent a lot of time in the locker room trying to 
come up with that game plan of uh, what are you going to do to uh, stop the Dow High Chargers. Midland High favored into this game coming in with only three losses on the season. But right now it's the Dow High Chargers playing very aggressive and it, they have built a 12-point lead. And I think this would qualify as a kind of a, a medium upset in the making. You know, Dow High coming in at 4-8, and 3-6 and six in the league. And Midland High has really had a stellar year so far. And Midland High just can't seem to match Dow High's quickness, ball control, and defensive intensity. Obviously, Malik Gardner leading all scores. He's followed by Gavin Grocheck, who has six points. For Midland High, Alec Johnson, the best scorer in the first half, he has seven points. So here we go with a third quarter of boys varsity basketball here on MPS TV and MCTV. Midland High with the ball to begin quarter number three. Will Williams, who only had two points in the first half. Williams now to Alec Johnson. Over to Nathan Blanky. Blanky feeds it to Gabe Blaylock. Now to Tyler DeYoung. Starters out on the floor for everybody. Williams feeding inside to Blaylock. Blaylock, no place to go, and the ball ends up stolen away. Gavin Grocheck with the steal. Again, nice defense, and on the other side, Malik Gardner picking up where he left off. Gardner hitting a bucket for the Dow High Chargers. 14-point Dow High advantage. Tyler DeYoung, three-pointer, no good, and a foul called on the battle for the rebound. And the foul is going to go against Gabe Blaylock. Maybe a little frustration beginning to uh, settle in for the Midland High Kimmick. Very definitely. I mean, uh, you look at the kind of shots they're taking and ball rotation. Sometimes it's a little quick. And uh, Dow's got it rolling right now. Midland's got to find an answer. Bounce pass inside of Cassidy. Now they go back out to Deshaun. Deshaun looking to come off the dribble. Cassidy now feeds it to Grocheck. Grocheck works it back out to Fitzgibbon. Three-pointers off the mark. Midland High comes back the other direction. Alec Johnson over to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung into the paint. Gets the friendly roll. Tyler DeYoung, first bucket of the second half for the Midland High Kimmich. 33-21, Dow with the lead, and Malik Garter missing the layup. Rebound by the Chargers, put back by Cassidy is blocked. Second attempt is blocked, and the Midland High Kimmich will come back the other way. Very physical play, this is as expected. Midland High coming off a physical matchup a, a week ago. This game, the physicality may be more suited to Midland High style, or they may be more used to it, although Dow High is a very defense-oriented team. Gabe Blaylock, the big man, can shoot the three. Blaylock hitting the three to pull the Kimmix into a single-digit deficit. Well, if he can shoot like that, they need more of it. Dow High trying to force it inside, couldn't do it. Alex Johnson looking to go coast to coast. Now Nathan Blinky with the bucket. Blinky with the shot. Marshall Gray wants a timeout for the Dow High Chargers. Well, it looked like we were going to start the third quarter as the second quarter ended, but Midland High getting uh, on fire and cutting this deficit down. It is now 33-26, and Marshall Gray is looking to fire up the Chargers. Well, as far as Midland High is concerned, uh, uh, they're starting to get some points from some other places. And uh, that's really important because the Dow High has just been able to, to try to put the clamps on, on Johnson right now. And uh, when Midland High can spread it around, it, it makes it doubly hard for Dow defensively. The Dow High Chargers will inbound after the timeout. The Midland High Chemex putting on some full court pressure against the Chargers. Dow High's Gavin Grocheck trying to get across midcourt. Nathan Blenke was riding him pretty hard, but Grocheck across the timeline. Splitting apart the defense with Malik Gardner, but Cassidy could not finish it up. However, Robert Rogowski can. Big offensive rebound. Rogowski puts the bucket in. It's a nine-point game. Into the paint. Tyler DeYoung now working the ball. He goes into the paint. Off balance shot by DeYoung, but he will go to the free throw line. 
the first half relatively clean in terms of foul. Each team's got one foul here in the third quarter. That's the first one called on Fitzgibbon. Tyler DeYoung missing the first free throw. Jam-packed crowd here at Midland High for boys varsity basketball here on MPS TV. DeYoung missing both free throws. Rebound by Rogowski. Robert Rogowski does a great job working the board for the Chargers and Malik Gardner just splitting apart the defense, feeding it to Cassidy for the bucket. Gardner is unstoppable in this contest. 37-26 the score, and Midland High throws the ball away. See, I thought Garner was going around his back and it got flipped back to him and then he made the pass. He must have come back around. He did. Amazing. He's a human highlight reel in this contest. Gardner working the ball right now for the Dow High Chargers. Gardner being double teamed, tried to feed it over to Cassidy. Gabe Blaylock with nice hustle to keep the ball in bounds. Will Williams over to Alec Johnson. Three pointer and the bucket. Johnson with a chance for a four-point play for the Midland High Chemex. Now you don't see the four-point play very often, but Alec Johnson looking to complete it. A great job, and the foul called on Fitzgibbon, which is going to be his second. Well, the last three-point shot that Johnson took a couple of possessions back, he took the three and fell down. No call. That time, the official was a little more sympathetic. Alec Johnson completes the four-point play. We have got a seven-point contest, 37-30, in favor of Dow, just over four minutes to play here in the third. And Nathan Blanke coming away with a defensive steal. Midland High now having the momentum in their shift. Alec Johnson missing the three, and a foul during the rebound. We'll see which way it goes. It's gonna be called against Midland. Jake Dostel, the junior, who checked into the game moments ago, Dostel ends up being called for the foul. Only the second team won against Midland. Chargers across midcourt. Fitzgibbon working with the basketball, no place to go. Finally finds Cassidy open. They switch directions. Gavin Grocheck's got the ball now for the Chargers. Grocheck looking to feed it inside, ripped away. Peyton D. Wilt coming up with a steal. The Kimmich back to back steals defensively. Very strong defensive play by DeWilt. Dosto working the ball now. How about a three pointer for D. Wilt? Count it. Peyton D. Wilt, the freshman, hitting the big three, and we are down to a five-point game with three minutes to play here in the third quarter. <laughs> Feeding it inside, another steal, three in a row defensively. Alec Johnson feeding it over to Williams, three-pointer, a little bit too hard, rebound pulled down by Fitzgibbon. Dow High, nice spin move by Gardner, breaking free of his defender. Grocheck now working the ball. The Dow High Chargers have had a hard time getting anything going offensively. Midland High has had steals on three straight Charger possessions. Grocheck with a couple of dribbles into the paint. Grocheck can't get the shot to go. Dosto may have got a hand on the ball, and we've got a foul called during the battle for the rebound. It's going to go against the Chargers. I think it's going against Cassidy. Cassidy called for the foul. Chargers bringing in some fresh faces. John Bork and Matt Deshone both entering the contest. And Marshall Gray wants a timeout. Marshall Gray will talk things over with his troops. 2.29 to play here in the third quarter. It is a 37-33 contest, and as the coaches talk to their players, we remind you that if you're just tuning in, you can watch this broadcast in its entirety Thursday, January 31st through Tuesday, February 5th. 
Air times will be at 12 noon and at 10 p.m. all day, Thursday through Tuesday. So spend their first weekend in February watching some great high school basketball at noon and 10 p.m. More dates and times, you can find those out on the MPS website. This broadcast will also be streaming on the MPS website sometime in early February. And also be sure to check out the girls basketball action. Varsity girls between the Chargers and the Kimmicks also airing this weekend as the Dow High Chargers look to remain undefeated against the 10-3 Midland High Kimmicks. Kimmix Chargers girls basketball this weekend. Kimmix Chargers boys basketball this weekend. And Tom, two weeks from now on Valentine's Day, we do it all again. A different venue will be at Dow that night. But uh, yeah, we're, this is really exciting. And uh, it, it's really great to see how well both the boys and the girls match up. Four point game, Midland High with the basketball. Will Williams feeding it. Three-point shot is no good by Jake Dostel, and Dostel with the mistake of not following the shot. It came right back to him, but he wasn't there, and the Chargers will come back the other direction. Gavin Grocheck, three-pointer, count it! Gavin Grocheck ending the Chargers scoring drought. Grocheck is now in close to double digits. He's got nine on the game. Seven-point lead for Dow High. Under two minutes to play here in the third. Dostal with the ball. Fadeaway shot. Count it. Jake Dostal, he's a junior. He comes off the bench. He plays well. And he has cut Midland's deficit down to five. 90 seconds to play here in the third. Couple of dribbles. Now working back over to Malik Gardner. Gardner. Looks for a three-pointer. Malik Gardner was off balance and still fired up the three. Malik Gardner, another basket. He is well past 20, is he not? Gar Gardner's got 24, 24 tonight. Will Williams working the ball over to Alec Johnson. Now Nathan Blinky drives into the paint. Blinky can't get the friendly roll. Ball is still loose. Everybody fighting for it. Kemet will keep possession. Chargers will bring Zach Hook into the game for the first time. Hook is a senior for the Chargers. Well, this game has really gotten aggressive here in the second half. Three-pointer, count it! Alec Johnson off balance. The Kimmicks wanted a foul, didn't get it, but they did get the Alec Johnson three. And Johnson's got 14. May have been a little bit of a sell job by Johnson, but nonetheless. Well, it worked before. The three-pointer <laughs> became a uh, three-point fast, and now we're going to have a blocking foul called on Blinky. Eric Krause this time is the one that disagrees with the call, but... Nathan Blinky called for the foul, which is his second. Neither team in foul trouble, only three fouls on each team. 30 seconds to play here in the third quarter. And we've got two of the quickest players on the court guarding each other. We've got Will Williams and Malik Gardner. Gardner with the ball for the Dow High Chargers. Chargers waiting for the final shot. Clock down to 10, now Millen brings the pressure. Gardner, couple of dribbles, tries to drive in, no place to go, finds Gavin Grocheck. Two seconds, Grocheck fires and will not get the bucket, but he will go to the free throw line with one second remaining here in the third quarter. I think right, right then, Dow was really lucky to get any kind of a shot at all. And they almost got a three-point play. It was close. Gavin Grocheck will go to the free throw line for Dow High. But Grocheck unable to uh, get the free throw to fall through. Second free throw by Grocheck. That one is good. 
Alec Johnson will fire up a shot. Does hit the backboard, but the third quarter will come to an end here at Midland High with the Dow High Chargers on top. A six-point lead for the Chargers. If you take a look briefly at the officiating crew for this contest, working hard just like the players. And, of course, if you would like to become a registered official for high school athletics, you can do so by heading to MHSAA.com, the Michigan High School website, and you can follow the instructions there and find out how you can become a registered official. Uh, no matter what sport you're interested in, the MHSAA will put you to work. In fact, they're looking for lacrosse officials. So, uh, Tom, if you've got a, uh, you know, any kind of an inkling to... Uh, to uh, officiate some lacrosse, you get to wear uh, you know fancy-looking shorts and uh, a striped shirt and have some fun this spring. Is it required to understand the game? <laughs> I, I could say it's, <laughs> does any official understand Ooh, the game? But come on, you are an official. <laughs> that's why I can say that. <laughs> Forty-four thirty-eight, the score with the Dow High Chargers with the lead, getting ready to start the fourth quarter of play. And uh, the Dow High Chargers will have the basketball to begin the fourth quarter. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, and a great crew of MCTV volunteers coming up later this quarter. We'll let you know how you can become an MCTV volunteer. We've got a great crew here working a very long day to bring you this basketball contest, all on a volunteer basis. Driving in, Malik Gardner, another great drive for Gardner. 26 points for Gardner. And it's back to an eight-point lead for the Dow High Chargers. Wide open, nobody around, and Dusko um, cannot get the bucket to fall. That's being too open. You have too much time to think about it. Dow High with the basketball working over to matt deshawn deshawn looking for gardner to cut across that was unsuccessful so they will reset up gardner works the ball over to bork bork only holds it briefly now gardner back to deshawn these same two teams will play in a couple of weeks and these same two teams could also meet in the districts till March, and the districts will be played here at Midland High. So when March Magic begins, we could have another Kimmick Charger matchup. They don't have a first round matchup, but we could see them later on in the tournament. It's more than likely. Uh, if games go the way they're supposed to, they'll meet in the finals. Long possession for the Dow High Chargers, feeding it inside, and Dosko's gonna be called for the reach-in foul. Eric Kraus wants a timeout. 621 to play in this contest. Dow High with the lead, and we mentioned the hard-working crew of MCTV volunteers putting in a lot of hours this afternoon setting up and broadcasting this contest. If you would like to become an MCTV volunteer, all you have to do is come to the next orientation, which will be taking place on Saturday, February 9th. It begins at 10 o'clock in the morning in the MCTV studio, which is located inside the Great Bay Dow Library. If you need more information, call 837-3474. The cost of the training, just $45, which also includes the first year access user fee to become an MCTV volunteer. Again, that number, 837-3474. We'd love to have you as part of our sports crew, but if sports isn't your thing, if you want to help out, we've got symphony concerts coming up. We have got uh, various church programs that air on a weekly basis on MCTV. A lot of talk shows. If you've got a something on your mind, if you've got a topic and, uh, you know, Posting and uh, venting and putting a meme on Facebook just isn't getting your point across. Come on down to MCTV and uh, talk to the gang down there and find out how you can become an MCTV volunteer. Vengeful TV is kind of what you're talking about, huh? <laughs> Not necessarily. No, no. It, it, it's a great media outlet. Wonderful. Eight-point lead, and right now the officials talking uh, to... 
the players apparently uh, if he's bleeding I, I no, don't know no, I, I think it was more of a uh, more of a sportsmanship talk that was uh, going on oh I see it's a very physical contest being played between these teams and Marshall Gray's got to call a quick timeout and now high chargers could not inbound the ball so Marshall Gray wants to talk things over and he is not happy with the fact that the Chargers could not inbound the ball. Dow High does have the lead and Marshall Gray attempting to fire the Chargers up here at Midland High. Well, you can't let someone else do it. You know, it's a team game. You've got to do whatever you can do to get open to give the inbounder an option. Well, we mentioned uh, girls basketball also airing this weekend a couple of weeks we will have coverage of both the girls and the boys basketball teams once again we've also got coverage of swimming coming up in a couple of weeks and uh, one of the highlights every year happens to be the Dow Corning tennis tournament and that is just a few weeks away and of course we will bring you again full day coverage uh, same day coverage and full coverage of the finals at the Dow Corning Tennis Tournament. And that's a highlight every February. So a very busy February here on MCTV. I'm not sure if the community is truly aware of what a high class activity that is. When they bring in these foreign players from all over the world, uh, ranked as high as uh, 20. Sometimes they get somebody between 10 and 20 in, in the world. Three-pointer by Gavin Krocek, it's no good. Battle for the rebound will be won by Midland High. It is a eight-point game with six minutes to play. Inside, a hook shot is no good for Nathan Blinky, and the rebound is brought down by Adam Fitzgibbon. Dow High back across midcourt. Malik Gardner with the ball, now working to Fitzgibbon. Fitzgibbon thought about the shot, decides against it, instead looking to feed to Zach Hook. Hook with his first shot of the game, it's no good, and a jump ball is gonna be called in the battle for the rebound, possession arrow in favor of the Kimmicks. Robert Rogowski will check back into the game, adds a little bit of size and muscle underneath for the Dow High Chargers. Will Williams works the ball over to Nathan Blanke. Blanke, couple of dribbles, now to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung to Alec Johnson. Johnson feeds it back to Blanke. Blanke with a couple of dribbles. Will Williams, he's been quiet tonight, now to Tyler DeYoung. DeYoung on a give and go, feeding it to Peyton DeWilt. Now works it back to Alec Johnson. DeWilt has it in the corner for the Kimmicks. Picks up his dribbles, finds Johnson cutting through. Johnson triple teamed and still oh. fires up the shot. Alec Johnson not being denied underneath a big bucket to bring the Kimmicks within six. And Johnson has 16 tonight. 4.45 to play. And what has been a great game. Into the paint, can't get a shot. How about that for a friendly roll? Gavin Grocek getting the bounce in the Charger bucket. Alec Johnson, long three-pointer, too hard. Malik Gardner will pull down the rebound. Gardner's limping a little bit. Malik Gardner landed awkwardly when he got the rebound. He still stays into the contest. And we've got a pushing foul called against Williams. Probably. Right in front of the Charger student section. The foul is the fifth one on Midland High. And are they uh, giving that to Dostal? No, that was, that was definitely, uh, it was on Williams, it's his fourth. And Will Williams is gonna stay in there, but he's in a lot of foul trouble now. He's kind of limited on what he can do going to the basket. First player to get in foul trouble. Kimmicks nearly came up with a steal. Chargers keeping possession. Gardner feeding it over to Grocheck. Grocheck, couple of dribbles, getting by Williams. Grocheck can't get the shot to go. Nathan Blanky with the rebound. Kimmicks have pulled within six, but they can't get any closer. Right now they're down by eight. Alec Johnson 
fires over to Williams. Williams to Tyler DeYoung. Now Peyton DeWilt, three-pointer. No. Not a friendly home court bounce. And the Chargers will come back the other way. He hit every part of the rim but the middle. With three and a half minutes to play in this game, the Kimmicks cannot have uh, trips down the court where they do not score. The clock is becoming the Chargers' friend. Into the paint, and a foul will be called, sending Hook to the free throw line. And that's on DeYoung. I don't know if that's his fifth or not. He's walking across to the bench. No, I do not believe DeYoung is in uh, any foul trouble. I didn't think he was. In fact, that's, that's just first. one. Okay. On the free throw line, Zach Hook gets a friendly bounce. Whose home court are we at? I know, I know. And we've got a timeout called. Eric Krause is going to call a quick 30-second timeout with 3.20 to play, and the Chargers looking to uh, bring their lead back to a uh, double digit. The uh, Dow High Chargers, more of a defense-oriented team than offense, but tonight we're seeing a lot of offense and a very uh, aggressive style of play that is working well for the Dow High Chargers. And right now, uh, Marshall Gray has kind of given the reins to the offense uh, to uh, get Gavin Grochek. He told me the other day that he's blessed with two point guards. Grochek's a point guard skill, doesn't have to play point guard. So right now he's giving uh, Garner a little bit of a breather and doing a lot of the, the work in advancing the ball. One more free throw coming up for Zach Hook, who did not play in the first half. Free throw shot coming up, count it. Zach Hook has increased the Chargers lead back to 10. 50-40 with just over three minutes to play. Williams driving into the paint, he'll draw the foul. Will Williams, who has been quiet in terms of scoring tonight, will go to the free throw line. Only the fourth foul for the Dow High Chargers with the lead and fouls to give. Dow High is also in the bonus, so they'll start shooting free throws. And Williams breaking his uh, scoring streak of not being <laughs> able to score by putting the bucket in. He has three now, though. Now he's got four. Well, Williams plays so hard. It's just the fact that he's not been in a uh, really good position to shoot very often tonight. Nathan Blinky committing a foul, which will send Malik Gardner back to the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers. Now, Midland High's got to hope for uh, some misses here pretty soon because with three minutes to play and the style of basketball that both of these teams play, it is looking more like a, a Charger win than a Midland comeback. Well, you know, and uh, Eric's got to start to figure out who on, on Dow is uh, worth uh, fouling to stop the clock. I don't think it's Garner, even though he missed that last shot. I don't think you want to follow Garner. Nine-point game, three minutes to play. Williams thought about the long three, decides against it. Now Williams driving in, and he'll go to the uh, free throw line. Will Williams fouled hard. Williams also ended up introducing himself to a uh, fellow Kimmick uh, student. That's how hard he went. Is he okay? I think everybody's okay. Okay. Everybody's laughing and smiling, and Williams on the free throw line. Fifty-one forty-three. Just under three minutes to play. The Midland High Chemex can make a comeback, but they've got to stop the Chargers and put up some points. Dow High. As the ball stolen away, Johnson and Williams try to combine for the steal, but the Chargers getting the ball right back. Great hustle by a whole slew of players that time. Chargers trying to get across midcourt. Now Marshall Gray calls a timeout. 
I'm not sure of the timeout situation, but Marshall Gray calls the timeout as the Chargers were having a hard time getting across the timeline. 2.30 to play here in this contest. 51-43, very physical, and this is, uh, well, this has been very, uh, very the style of the Saginaw Valley in recent years. It really is, and Marshall Gray uh, has a chance to take advantage of two very experienced guards that they played with each other for the last three years. They know where each other is going to be, and uh, it's going to make them very difficult to press. And uh, Midland High is just going to have to try uh, to either get the ball inside and draw three-point plays or start to shoot some threes because this game's going to evaporate here if Dow has a chance to just slow the ball down and just put uh, Grocek and Garner to the free throw line. It's been a great game. I mean, uh, Ebb and Flow, Midland had a lead early. Dow struggled, found their stride. And, uh, you know, it's only an eight-point game, and we've got two minutes and 30 seconds to go in the game. That's, this is still anybody's game. That's a lot of basketball time. It really is. It really is. The Dow High Chargers will inbound. Midland High putting on uh, some pressure. And the Dow High Chargers able to beat it. Adam Fitzgibbon finishing off the play. That's one way to beat the press. Adam Fitzgibbon with a strong basket, his first basket of the game. But the Chargers back to a 10-point lead. Williams with the ball for the Kimmicks. Tyler DeYoung now with the ball. Fires a shot from just inside the three-point line. It's no good. And the rebound by Fitzgibbon. Malik Garner looking down court. Chargers putting up the basket. Andrew Cassidy with the bucket, and that might be the nail. Alec Johnson doesn't think so. He fires a three-pointer. Dow High now leading by 12, under two minutes to play. Chargers across midcourt. Well, we're getting to the point where uh, Midland's going to have to figure out who they're going to follow because they can't let this game go that much further. And it looks like Eric has uh, about ready to put his reserves in. Now, instead of following, I think the white flag is being waved as the Dow High Chargers feeding the ball around. Just over a minute to play in the contest. Malik Garner driving in, and Garner's going to be called for the charge. And Malik Gardner is a little slow coming up. At this point in the game, you you uh, you like the passion and you like the intensity that Malik Gardner is playing with, but at this point of the contest, there was no need to drive that hard to the basket. No, and uh, he was the most surprised of anybody on the team that, or in uh, the gym, that he got called for charging. But you're right. You got to take the air out of the ball. You got to bring it out and burn some clock. We've got the reserves into the game. We'll try our best to uh, give credit to some of these players that work hard day in and day out in practice. Now getting a chance to play. John McDonald is working the ball down for the Midland High Kimmicks. Now they feed it over to Zach Stern. Back up to Jake Dostal. A minute to play in this contest. The Dow High Chargers 60 seconds away from a big time win. Three-pointer by McDonald was no good on the ground. Everybody fighting for it. Kimmich will keep possession. Noah Sanders with the ball. No place to go. Gives it to Dostal. Dostal works it back over to McDonald. Now back to Sanders. Sanders looking for some place. Finds Dostal. Feeds it over to Stern. Long possession. Three-point shot taken. It's no good, but Midland High with an offensive rebound. And then they throw the ball away. You know, I really like how, how Midland High played right then. They were moving the ball, a lot of energy. You know, uh, they, they got a chance to play, you know. They played within a game uh, structure. 25 seconds to play. Chargers about to pick up what some might consider an upset here in the Saginaw Valley. Dow High. Matt Deshaun working the ball around for the Chargers to Kyle Cushman, who came into the game. It was stolen away by Midland. Matt Schnur with the ball. Matt Schnur with a chance to get a bucket, and he's in the books. Schnur with a baseline shot, 
and the final seconds ticking away, and the Dow High Chargers with a 10-point win over the Midland High Chemex. The Chargers making the trip across town, and they make the trip with upset on their mind, and they do just that. Dow High defeating Midland High tonight, 55 to 45. Uh, very impressed with Dow. They did not look like a team that is uh, struggling. Uh, they come in here four and eight, and they they played well enough to be one of the, the higher echelon teams in the Saginaw Valley. Yeah. I, I don't think Midland played the best game tonight. I don't think they shot real well from the outside. But give Dow credit with the energy on defense, and defense is kind of their three down right now. Well, that's something that Marshall Gray is a very strong proponent of is defense, defense. I absolutely love that about Marshall Gray. I love that style of basketball, and it worked well tonight. And how about Malik Gardner? An outstanding performance by Gardner. Well, when, D when Dow needed to have something to kind of stir them up a little bit offensively, uh, he hit a bunch of threes. Just real soft touches, and uh, uh, he was a hard guy to guard tonight. Just had that extra quickness uh, off the ball. And, uh, just uh, a great game for him. Now the Dow High Chargers improving to five and eight with the win. Midland High drops down to nine and four with the loss. Don't forget also this weekend, girls basketball airing here on MPS TV. And in two weeks, we do it all again with both boys and girls basketball. A great evening for the Dow High Chargers, for the Midland High Chemex. They're obviously gonna go and watch the videotape of this contest and they're going to, uh, to rebound. There's no doubt that uh, this is gonna be a turning point for the season. You know Eric Krause will have the uh, Kimmix fired back up in the gym tomorrow. I'm a firm believer that you learn more from a loss than a win. And I think Eric's got, got some things that he can really use now uh, to try to form his team to go further into the season. If you want to become involved with MCTV, there's the phone number, 837-3474. And in a moment, you're going to see several names come across your television screen. Those are the hardworking volunteers. This broadcast would not be possible without the hardworking and long hours put in by staff and volunteers at MCTV. The names will come across your screen here in this basketball game. The Chargers celebrating a huge win here in boys basketball. For our entire MCTV crew and for my broadcast partner, Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. The final score tonight, the Dow High Chargers 55, the Midland High Kimmicks 45. Good night, everyone.